welcome back to my youtube channel so hopefully you see the demo video of how can you detect a fierce landmark using python and also using a library called dil so i'm going to use python 3.6.4 version so if you're using latest version it hopefully it will work on your system also i mean in your python version so sometimes it will give you error so don't worry about that i will help you so if you if you get this error to install the dlib so please comment below okay and i'll help you to install dlib library in your local machine so first thing first please just subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so i will upload some videos regarding machine learning and the data science and also some regarding videos about the django and some uh, web framework okay and you can see here some videos regarding style gan too this is the technique and how can you generate this so please check this video it's more interesting video i will uh, explain all the things and you can see here uh, email spam classification so regarding nlp or you can say natural language processing so i am going to discuss all the things in my videos and you can see a gender classification using cnn and ulu v5 and the face mask detection and so on okay so please check all the videos and i also upload some videos so some calling thing using python you can say python turtle some graphical things okay I also video about a defect and some smile detection and the real time digit classification and the face real recognition. So please check all the video on my playlist. I think I uploaded uh, 96 videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's jump on our code. I mean on our VS code. Okay, so this is our VS code. I already implement all the code here. Okay, so I'm going to explain all the things and line by line cause if I going to do the live coding so it will time consume. so plus check on my folder structure how it actually looks so this is our folder structure you can see here in, inside this folder okay i create a folder face your landmark detection so inside this folder you can see here shape predictor 68 face landmark dot that file so this is actually pretend that file to which will help us to detect our face landmark so i will upload this thing on my github or my also in my drive link and you can also download this uh, that file here okay and this is a hair cache kit front and default dot xml file so it will help us to detect our faces you can see here in my demo video i also detect my landmark and also some transition effect it's detect my face and some transition effect in the red color okay you can see here so this is the landmark detection is our python file okay so see here so first what you need to do you need to import cbto so cbt would actually help us to do some uh, image pre-processing you can also do some pre-processing using the cbt module and a delay so delay will help us to detect our face okay you can also use this to uh, use this to detect your face also and now in this case you are going to use the this one for the face landmark okay so we are creating a creating a video capture object so video equal to cb2 dot video capture object since this you can see here at zero so i'm going to put here zero here not a one uh, because i actually capture this uh, demo video to using my mobile hook camera so i'm not going to use that right now so i'm going to use my laptop camera so that's my video called the video video capture object so then i uh created a uh, variable for detector so delete dot get frontal face detector so this delete uh, inside this delete there is a method called get frontal face detector so it will help us to detect our frontal faces after that we are going to predict our uh, landmark so that's why i create a variable for predictor and store this delete uh, predictor so delete the shape detector and the dead file okay and also load the hat cascade file to detect our face after that detecting our face we are creating a, a rectangle and this will be transition okay and we, we create a while loop okay while through and the red frame so it will uh, capture all the frame uh, in our video so using the video capture frame and then we converting our frame into grayscale you can take gray called the cb2 dot cb color frame and cb2 video to gray so you know uh, actually open cb read the all the images in a visual format so we need to convert this image into a grayscale format so if you do some analysis in our image preprocessing you need to uh, convert this image into rgb format because you know uh, image is a actual a thing of the numpy is a actual thing of numpy it is generated to numpy away so OpenCV read the images into VGR format. So if you wanted to do some pre-processing using OpenCV, you need to use VGR to RGB. Or if you wanted to change this into a grayscale image, so VGR to gray. And we are detecting our faces using the detect dot multi scale. So face detect dot detect multi scale. I also uh, explain all the things in the live coding in my 
face deduction video you can also check out from here in my playlist okay you can see here i think i will explain the things on my face uh, real time face deduction also here and also my open cd project okay on my uh on my face direction i think i uploaded videos for a long time ago you can find here okay i'm not finding that here okay i think i uploaded that uh okay so let's jump on our code so i explain all the things here okay you can see your face detect multi scale so inside this multi scale it will take an uh, input call gray you can see here i when i uh, hover my mouse into detail multi scale so this is a function or you can say method it will take an image then a scale factor is none mean debit is actual none and flex is none and the mean size is none and the max size is none you can also read this whole thing so i am going to use that so gray and the scale factor i'm going to put here on pin 5 this is okay okay and mean number 9 and the flex 9 and also all the things nine. okay then we are creating uh creating a loop to iterating all the coordinate of our phase data that's when on our phase the coordinate are x y w and h so x is the coordinate and y is all the coordinate and w is the y and the height of the picture and you're going to iterate all the things from the phase data and after that we are creating a overlay okay after that we're creating a overlay in our phase you can see here on my demo video a phase with some transition effect with the red color but our landmark is white color okay so you can see here overlay equal to phase frame that copy so it's our frame it's our actual frame here it's our actual frame we are going to copy that after that we also uh going to copy in our outer frame okay so we are creating a rectangle in our overlay that's me in our frame after that so i can go here my paint and i explain all the things here it's better to i think go here paint i think yep paint okay so go here and explain this thing okay so that's mean it uh, let's assume that this is our rectangle okay inside this rectangle this is our face okay i'm not going to add so this is the actual x coordinate okay this is the x coordinate and this one is the y coordinate and this is the white this is the actual white and this is the actual height okay so we are going to iterate all the values from here after that we are creating a overlay overlay means overlay means how you detect the phase after detecting the phase we are filling this phase that's the filling this uh, filling this uh, filling this whole detecting phase with red color i think you will see on my demo video okay i already explained about that so inside this overlay now the frame is stored here okay this now the frame is stored okay so after the copy the frame we are creating overlay with the red color okay with the color and minus two that's mean these detection color i mean this detection part would be blur okay this one that's mean these detection things will be blur that's mean with the red color if i brush this okay i think i need to uh, change the brush that's mean this whole thing will be blur not a blur actually feel with the red color okay feel with the red color i'm not going at out okay so going the feel of the red color after that okay after filling this thing we are going to transfer that okay right now it is transparent i am choosing the red color uh, it's not the brush I, if i chose this one that's we need to feel hold the color okay feel hold the color with the red that's mean it will first detect the faces of the coordinate and it will detect it and it will feel the full color with the red color then we are going to do some analysis and make it transparent okay so i'm not uh, actually i am not going to discuss about the face landmark radiation right now i am going to detect our face then the transparent thing and after that we are detecting our landmark okay so overlay and the alpha is 0.2 so this alpha this means you can also the rgba so is actually you can see the opacity okay it is called the calls all the opacity but in the frame of the at white you can also say here this is a alpha so this at white actually help us to uh, give us some transferring effect okay give us some trust if i if i run that code on my and you can easily check it here okay python landmark detection.py so let's 
give me some minute okay I think I forgot to save the Python file copy that okay right now it's okay I'm going to save this file because I explain I'm not going to save that okay I save that I run the code again close that and again go here cmd and tap here okay so actually we don't go here on the landmark right now so i'm going to detect that once the transparent okay. so you can see here you will detect it right now you can see here okay if i okay you can see here it will detect my face after this is a transparent thing okay it is a transparent you can see here transparent thing so we are going to do that okay this is a transparent thing you can see a transparent thing so we are going to implement that so if you wanted to implement this thing you need to use at white it so it will have predefined functions in OpenCV. so you can see here at white it and the one and the alpha and output so it will actually do two frame i mean it will take two frame source one and the source two so that's why i'm going to use the copy function so then it will compare the two things then make some opacity okay one minus alpha that's in 0.8 and zero and output so this is the whole code for only for the transforming effect then we go to our landmark direction part okay so face is equal to detector dot gray so it detect the frame in our gray okay gray scale then for equal to detect for phase in phases that means there is some coordinate in our faces if you see here in the landmark so left top and the right and the bottom that's the all the coordinate in our face i will explain here okay this is a coordinate okay x x coordinate and y coordinate and also left right bottom okay so that's mean uh, this is the left button this is the top this is the right and this is the bottom so I am going to initialize the uh, left as x1 and the top as the y1 and the right as the x2 and the bottom as the y2. And I am going to predict this. Landmark is the predictor dot gray and the faces. So what did the actual predictor do? So if I go down here, this is the predictor and this is the detector. So the detector will take the argument of the gray scale images, then predictor will predict that. Okay, using this that file. So this will fit in file, okay? Then it will predict the whole thing of the faces on the graph images then it will detect all the things and we are going to create some uh, circle in a in a some short range okay so for any range 0 to uh, 68 you can also put your 100 it's up to you okay so in my case i'm i am must prepare at the 68 so x and the y so there are the part and not x1 and this is the coordinate of the x and y and i'm going to put that so this is the actual landmark of our actual landmark of our faces so if you detect the face then predict that at this landmark and after that we are creating a circle on the landmark then it will uh, you can see here and if i go here so as in that this is our face okay this is our face and and this is our detection after that it will detect it and it will detect the landmark that's mean if i change the brush and the color so this is our landmark like that okay landmark landmark this is all the landmark this is the nose and this is the mouth with some landmark effect like that okay like that and the landmark thing just it will detect that so the circle is nothing but the landmark only for okay here are some thing you can also do analysis in our google and finally i am going to show the frame okay i'm going to show the frame after that it will uh, help us to show the transfer effect on our number face landmark then we are going to put here a white key so to white our frame and it's calculated already when you press q so this will be gone okay so this is the whole thing so now i'm going to run that for one time i can last say that and go to the kernel and again copy that thing and pass that okay and i'm going to run that okay let me 
Okay. Oh, hey, take some time. Yeah, so you can see here it detect my faces correctly with some transferring in the cool effect. Okay, and you can also see here the landmark. Landmark. Okay, so hopefully you will enjoy this video. So this is the whole thing. So you can easily do it. Okay, so I'll upload the code on my GitHub uh, repository. I mean GitHub link. So you can also download it from here. So don't worry about that. So if you enjoy this video, so again, I want to say again, please do subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon. And thank you. Bye-bye.